Hello my lovely Capricorns, welcome to your reading for April 2023. This is a general reading for you Capricorn, it's a reading for Capricorn Sun, Rising and Moon sign. <clears throat> if you would like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. I tell you what Capricorns, I've been meditating on your energy and it's like I'm stalling for words they are premeditated. So I want to say to you that the energy that I'm feeling that's coming in around you, what I'm being shown here, is an, an energy, there's been a lot of self-reflection. There's been a lot of questioning, questioning the self, questioning you, questioning your motivation, questioning the direction you're taking, questioning uh, your place in the world. Um, I feel like they're really deep questions that have been coming up for you. There's been a lot of thought. There's been a lot of um, processing And there is that practical element to you. You know, you're an earth sign and there's this need to be grounded. So there's a need for security. There's a need for knowing your place in the world. There's a need for knowing the direction you're taking, uh, what's happening tomorrow, um, you know, in the future, having it all laid out. But at the moment, I feel like that's not the case. You're being challenged. You're being challenged to really look at um, doing a lot of that inner work, that self-reflection. And so you had all of those things. You know, you, this is how you, you moved through the world. It's time to self-reflect. Has that been working for you? Is that suiting you? Are you being your authentic self? Are you reaching your potential? What they're bringing me here is a whole lot of questions, my lovely Capricorns. A whole lot of questions for you. What are the answers to those? There's a lot of processing, a lot of thinking, a lot of self-reflection. But even on an emotional level, there's a lot of digging deep. There's, I feel like we're excavating here this month. We're excavating and we're really digging up stuff. We're going on a treasure hunt. We're digging up stuff. You're moving into, you're really processing deep-seated things as how are you going to be moving forward. Sounds heavy, doesn't it? But you know what? Those sorts of things are really good because it just uh, helps you to identify maybe you're on the right path. Maybe you're doing what you want to be doing and you're happy and content with all of that. And so that, that sort of investigating of the self may bring you full circle to, yeah, I'm really happy with what's going on in my life at the moment, as long as you're authentic, as long as you're being truthful to yourself. We become masters of self-deception. We can trade off aspects of ourselves for a particular outcome. We all do it. We all do it, Capricorn. I'm going to draw a card from the Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's see what spirit animal is here to help you um, journey through. And, you know, what you've got is the honeybee. Reciprocal. Reci reciprocity reciprocity it's a word isn't it wow that's and you that's where you might be you know you might be trading off aspects of yourself but you're getting something back is there that balance you know the honeybee buzzes around to, takes the pollen from the flowers the flowers hand over that pollen but then they'll buzz over to some other plant and some other flowers and they cross-pollinate so that they're providing a service as well. There's an equality, there's a give and take. Are you in that sort of relationship? Is it a give and take? It can be with a significant other, it can be with family members, it can be with children, it can be with friendships, it can be, you know, it takes all, all aspects of your life. It can be at work as well. 
you know, are you doing more than you're being paid for? Is there a balance there? It's about looking, that's what you're looking at your life. You're looking at your life and thinking, well, is there a balance? Has there been a balance? Am I giving, 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 giving and receiving nothing? Um, Or is it give and take, give and take? It's brought about some changes for some of you. The B also conjures images of busyness when the sun shines make hay you know it's about being busy it's about um when when the iron strike while the iron's hot that's where you are at in april it's about the busyness it's about getting things done getting things completed it i feel like there's an urgency to i need to get things completed by the end of may is what i'm hearing so if the if you're someone that if you're a capricorn that is doing something that is bringing in change it needs to happen by the end of may it needs to get moved there needs to be an energy about it because the time is now to really investigate where you're at what you're doing and um, what's around you they just threw out a whole lot of cards for me (laughs) so let's just place those and let's see I need one more please thank you all right that's really good That's really good. I want to say to you that you're coming from a place of disappointment. You're coming from a place of who's deceived you, who's disappointed you. There's some deception that you may have come to realise, that you may be aware of. Um, It could also be self-deception. But there's some sort of disappointment, deception around you, either from somebody else. This is in the past position. So for some of you, it's already happened. For some of you, it's it's just happening. Timing's different for all of you, my lovely Capricorns. But uh, it could also be self-deception. But just be aware of there's not someone's not being completely clear. There's not complete clarity with a situation or with a person or with a group of people. And so it's about you being aware of that. It's the awareness of that that allows you then to take the, the, the steps that you need to take. For some of you, it's got to do with money, so be aware. Be aware. You also have, coming into April, you've got the magician. Well, isn't that a nice energy? Like, so oh, this new broom sweeps clean. This is an opportunity here for you. You need to identify who you are, identifying your authentic self, uh, and then be able to understand and know what you want to create for your reality. There's got to be a knowledge and an understanding of what you want to create, what changes you want to bring in before you can bring them in. They don't just happen. You need to have that awareness um, of what they are, uh, and then you bring those in. But the magician is about manifesting. You're in a position of creating your reality. And I've got to say that it's coupled with the genie card. That's a very that's very powerful start to the month. So whatever it is you're doing, whatever realizations you're you're coming to uh, according to your um, channeled message. It brings great results, great opportunities, great synchronicities to create and design the reality that you want to create and design. What are your wishes? What do you want to do? What do you, who do you want to be and how do you want to live? I feel like there's some new work coming up for some of you as well. There's new work, a new job, starting a new job, new position, which also um, impacts on finances, improves your financial state, financial condition. So when you decide what it is you want to manifest, being the architect of your, your reality, when you start to understand what it is you're wanting, then you've got to start working towards it. I don't feel like it's something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to be B energy, honey B energy. You've got to work at it. It could mean retraining so that you can go for a promotion. It could be uh, reorganizing your finances and getting a new job and, and building foundations to create the reality that you want to create. It's about building strong foundations. So this also means to me, I'm hearing it don't make, there's nothing hasty about this. 
It's about really creating these foundations. I'm also hearing don't jump out of the pan into the fire. So if, if there's a, an opportunity for changing a situation around you, changing something uh, in your reality, don't go from that situation into a similar situation. So you really need to be discerning as well. So I uh, suppose what, what they're saying here is to have caution in the choices and decisions that you're making so that you're not jumping from one situation into a similar situation through cycles and patterns that you find everybody finds themselves in. It's about identifying those to uh, bring in those changes. There's also celebrations around you, whether that's a birthday, a wedding, an anniversary, um, job well done. There's celebrations. There's celebrations, joys, uh, social activities, busyness um, around you that is going to bring you great joy, great success, great recognition. There's celebrations. Something's shifted. Something's upbeat. Something's better. Um, it's also get out there and mix, have a social life, you know, make connections, make new friends. Of course, remember I showed you, you also have the genie card. What are your wishes? What's your heart's desire? Start creating those. Start creating those. Who needs to come out from someone's shadow um, and really stand, stand strong, stand on your own two feet, my lovely Capricorns? That just came through, so it might be for a specific someone. Doesn't mean the rest of the messages aren't for you. Remember, this is a general reading. Some months it will completely resonate with you. Some months it will, parts of it will resonate. Some months it'll be your your rising sign and your moon sign that are going to resonate more for you. I feel like there's new new opportunities. There's changes in finance, in work. In, in living conditions, there's there's changes coming in around you that are going. There's new horizon, new proverbial horizons. There is uh, your your lot in life gets better. It's getting better. If at the moment you're finding it's a little bit bleak or a little bit tough, or I've got to you know work at stuff, it does get better. Synchronicities, opportunities come your way. Um, things just seem to fall into place for you, my lovely Capricorn. That's about week three of, of April. You're going to start actually feeling like there's change um, opportunities, um, laying down those foundations of really uh, finding out who you are, finding out who you are. Any obstacles, any challenges, anything you have to face where you feel like you need to fight for your cause. Um, and this is, this is also, um, I'm hearing legal work or headspace, written words, communication. Uh, you might find it a little bit tough, but you will come out of it well. You will be successful um, in overcoming whatever is presented to you. So I feel like it's the it's uh, challenges in communication or the written word um, that you're needing to overcome. You will overcome it, as challenging as you may find it. You will overcome it so that there is, um, I like that. Could be public speaking. It could be having to speak to someone that you've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Could be speaking your mind, speaking to someone. Yes, because I'm getting anxiety in my solar plexus. There's something here that's bringing anxiety to you, my lovely Capricorn, um, about what you're needing to say to someone, what you're needing to do. You've also got the Eight of Cups. This is a good card, you know. This is about, okay, so you're going to reach a point towards the end of April, last 10 days of April, where you're going to think, um, I'm going to walk away from stuff. There's things you're walking away from. Now, they could be, they could be things about you, about how you've dealt with things in the past, about how you've maybe not spoken out as much as you would like to have, you know, said your piece, stood up for what you believed in. It could be leaving behind a situation, a relationship, um, a way of being, a way of uh, people's expectations of you, redesigning yourself, you're deciding to move forward. There is this rebirthing happening here. 
leaving stuff that you no longer want behind, the old you, the old way of dealing with things, the old way of living, um, being your own person. So what is it? What are all those things that you're leaving behind and moving forward? You're deciding to do it. It's like, okay, I'm doing this. I, this is no longer serves me. This is who I am. This is how I want to live. I'm, you know, it's there's this positivity that comes out of this new new awakening, this new dawning. I like it. My lovely Capricorn, what does that take you to? It takes you to the Ace of Pentacles. This is your suit. Look at that tree of life. This is your tree standing strong. There is um, improvements in your finances, improvements in your living conditions, improvement in your career, um, in some form of st I'm going to start studying. There's success there. Um, if you're retiring, you're in a really good place. There's a, there's a turning point here. This is a new start. This is a whole new start, a whole new awakening, uh, going, getting towards the end of April. It's like things are starting to fall into place. What needs to be signed? What needs to be signed? Whatever needs to be signed, get it done, get it done, get it done. Don't know what that is. Maybe you know what that is. I don't know. Let me know um, what that is. But that all goes towards this new, new beginning, this new awakening, this movement forward. I like it, which leads to your planning your new financial future, planning your new uh, career or stability or life. Think about what's grounded. This is you coming home, goal setting. There's new goal setting. There's, it's like um, you can, you're starting to see beyond the immediate. You're looking to the future and, 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 and making choices and decisions about yourself. It's about your, you. It's about you. I like that. I see improvements in your lot. There's improvements in your lot. At the very beginning of April, it's really important that you identify what you want to manifest, what you want to create, what's your wish, what are your wishes. You know, be that, that genie card, wishes fulfilled. But before they're fulfilled, before you can manifest, you need to identify them. And it's about identifying them, not according to others, because this is what you're shedding. This is what you're walking away from, others' expectations of who you are, being your own person. Now, the, the, the um, caution here that they're showing me is not to jump from one situation into a similar situation where there's people, other people that are going to be putting expectations onto you or telling you how it should be. You need to give yourself a voice. That's really important to open up this uh, face the challenges. Don't be afraid to communicate what you're wanting and what you're needing because you will be successful in that communication and that thought process, identifying that and then clearing away what you don't need. So important. So important, my lovely Capricorns. Okay, let me see. Divine Abundance. What card has been given to you? Ah, oh, look. Divine love. This is self-love, my lovely Capricorn. Self-love as well. Divine love, unconditional love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. A love affair with spirit, a love affair with the self. There needs to be a detachment of the old. Absolutely. I wish you love, light, many blessings, my lovely Capricorn. Happy journeying through April. It's quite an exciting time for you. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there.